G'day boys, just out here at the English Premier Sale at Oaklands. Um, as we said, we were hoping to secure a horse for our, uh, our punters club that we've been running over the last 50 weeks and uh, we've been lucky enough to do so. Um, so before I hand it over to Henry to talk about the horse, I just want to say thanks for being involved in the inaugural punters club. Hope you all enjoyed the concept and um, look forward to racing this colt with you in uh, the years to come and hopefully we can have plenty of fun with him. Uh, but for now, Henry will talk about our purchase and um, let you know what's happening from here. Thanks, JT. Uh, as you can see, as JT alluded to, the newest member of the team, he's a little Teofilo colt. Um, I like two Teofilo colts here. There was one up the top there, he made 300,000. He was well out of our league, obviously. This bloke fitted in the hitting zone, so we were able to get him for 50,000. I thought he'd make significantly more, but more than happy to have him for the right price. Uh, Teofilo obviously had a bit of success with him with Sontag. He's the only one I've had. They're just really, really good, talented horses. Uh, this horse looks nothing like Sontag. Uh, Sontag, to be fair, dead set stayer. This horse, probably a 1,400 metre, 1,600 metre horse. Teofilo doesn't just sire stayers. He's got a number of good sprinters both here and in Europe, and particularly in Hong Kong, where there's a horse called Teofilo Calva, who's a very good sprinter. There's a mare here called Griante, which is going around at the moment, of David Brightoaks, which is a really good sprinter. Uh, and obviously Kermadec, to a lesser extent, he's a miler who won the Doncaster last year and a very, very good horse. So I see this horse as being a 1,400, 1,600 metre horse like Kermadec. Uh, he's a ripping type. He's not big. He's just a nuggety little fella. Got a good bum on him, good chest, good girth. Um, terrific temperament, as you can see. Everyone that um, works at Rushton Park, where we bought him from, loves him. They've nicknamed him Terry, Terry Teofilo. Uh, and I look forward to having him in the stable. So we'll get him out of here tomorrow. He'll be up at Rockmount tomorrow night and probably have six weeks in the paddock where we'll break him in and we won't be pushing him early. I think he'll be sort of a, probably have a run as a late two-year-old and then we'll get him going as a three-year-old and he, he'll hopefully be winning races around the mile mark. But uh, happy to have him and the inaugural punters club's found a good one, I think.